Hey, hi guys, it's ROC321. Back again with a continuation of the Hulk PVC model. Um, oh, hang on, just, yeah, no, it's working fine now. Yeah. So, last time we left off, we, this has already been nicely cleaned now, ready for for painting, basically. Um, all the parts are well supposedly clean hopefully supposedly they've all been cleaned up ready for for painting now if you remember the last time I was oh no what's that that's a nasty I don't know what that is um, let's see if I can use a very fine sample I don't know if you guys can see this Right here, but there's something on there that shouldn't really be there, and I don't quite know what it is. So I'm just going to use a very, very fine sandpaper to get it off. So it's extremely fine sandpaper, so it shouldn't make too much of a difference. There we go. You ain't going to notice it when it's there. That's better. When it's all painted. Now. This video, the reason I'm doing this is because when you put the head on, there's this gap. And I'm going to talk about how we're going to fix this gap. First of all, before I do anything like that, super glue. Super glue is your, your friend when working with PVC model kits. Now, all I'm going to do is just put some there, a little bit there, a little bit there. You don't need a lot. I don't want it all on the the, the full on edge because I don't want it on the outside, but the little bit on this edge, where it's, I'm not going to be, it should be okay. Just a little bit, not a lot. There, that should do. And that will help hold everything in into place. And let's put him on there, like that. And we're gonna just make sure it's pushed down. Now, get rid of that gap. We're gonna use the same thing that we used before. If you watched one of my other videos, working on the um, the resin model kit of the Tyrant Sword, I showed you how to use two-part epoxy oh what's this cat claw seriously it's a cat claw um, the cats have been up on my workstation again Ugh, typical All right, the two-part epo two epoxy modeling clay now as I said in that previous video this is really good stuff and all it is you have two different colours. You've got the darker colour here, and you need an equal amount of the whiter colour. The only problem I found with this, I can't get it get the plastic off. But I suppose that's what you get for buying it cheaply online. And you need equal amounts. They have to be equal amounts. Okay, if I was it takes forever to cure let's say that can go back in its pot now what's good about this is this will not start setting until you start mixing it so get the two together and start mixing 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 away just kneading it all together basically so the two colors become one uniform color you have to excuse my fingernails I've, they I have been washed my hands by a few few times but I've been um, working on the car yet again it seems like all I ever do is work on the bloody car and get it fixed I'm no mechanic or anything like that it's just cheaper doing it myself than sending it to a mechanic yeah again what we're doing is just mixing it all together 
and I've made far too much for what I need because all I'm going to do with this is fill up the, this line, this gap along here and the trick is, is to make it look like there isn't a gap there isn't a line and that it's all seamless that's the trick and that's what's going to be fun and that's what I'm hopefully going to show you how to do so, first things first modeling putty right, now we've got that oh. let's get a clean surface and I'm just going to roll it out like a sausage because I want it quite thin because it's only a small area doesn't need to be too too big so I'm gonna start just here and all it is is I'm just gonna lay it in there let's get my tool here and just start packing it I don't know if it's in the shot yes it is packing it in to that gap now try not to get it any anywhere else just in pack it into the gap as best as you possibly can because believe me trying to sand this off is going to be a royal pain in the backside but it's a necessary evil and it's awkward to see and get at as well I may need just a little bit more nope, nope, done it, I covered it perfectly, okay so now I've covered that gap, what next? It's a mess. Yes, I know it is. So, because it's a mess, that's not exactly what we want. So, I'm now going to use my tool again, and I'm going to start smoothing it out and flattening it even more. And basically just can push it down into the gap. There's other methods you could use instead of doing this, obviously, but for me this is just the easiest way and quickest way of getting it done. And I'm just pushing it all the way down as, and sliding it at the same time. I've got a little tiny piece of water, water here as well to help me keep everything nice and lubricated yes lubrication is your friend when working with this stuff see that's what happens when you don't have lubrication on it it starts sticking to things and that's what we don't want Right, let's choose something a bit smaller now so I can actually get it in there and just push it nice and deep into those into that gap here because the whole idea we want this to be pretty much seamless It's actually looking pretty good. Right. So once you've got all that in there and it's filled the gap up nice,
Now we let it sit. Once that's dry, we can then come in and sand it, which we will do at a later date. But right now, that's pretty much it. We fill that gap, and that's it. Now, what's another good thing about this this model kit? Normally, you'd put things on skewers to hold things in places, and but because this has got such big holes or something to grab onto, you don't really need to because this is not going to be shown. So you can actually hold onto this here while you're painting. And it should, in theory, okay, maybe not, it's not going to stand up either. But we can find something for it to stand up on. Uh, no, that's not going to work. We'll sort something out anyway. But yeah, now we've got to let that dry, which is going to take about 24 hours for it to dry. The super glue will help keep everything in in its place in its place so it doesn't move and that's basically it that's how you would fill the gap as i said i'm not worried about the gaps on these when we put this together because believe me there's if it any other way like you saw on the head you would see a gap and you would have to fill it um, but because of this this lip here is going to cover the the gap in the body anyway and these here are going to cover the, the gap on the legs so we don't need to worry about it which just makes life so much easier. So, next up, I'm gonna start priming these models and just make sure there's no imperfections or anything in these parts. I'll show you how to prime these two pieces because everything else is pretty much the same after that. So I'll show you how to do that and then hopefully next time we'll be painting it obviously what well, well, I'll show you how to sand that off when we get to it as well but the next video is going to be priming so keep an eye out on that and this is RLC321 I will speak to you soon have a good one guys take care